This is the lacrimal system. The lacrimal gland produces tears and the tears will uh, travel in front of the eye by the process of blinking and will spread all over to provide the eye with moisture and it prevents the dryness uh, of the cornea and conjunctiva. And the tears will be drained from the uh, upper punctum through the upper canaliculi to the lacrimal sac from the lower punctum through the lower canaliculi into the uh, lacrimal sac by the negative pressure from the lacrimal sac and will be drained down to the nose through the lacrimal duct. In obstruction here will cause continuous tearing of the eye. And the most common cause in neonates is congenital nasolacrimal duct obstruction. This is a classic presentation of nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Usually they come to the clinic because of possibility of eye infection. This is not an eye infection. The eyelid is normal, not a swollen, no redness, and the conjunctiva is white, no conjunctival injection. The component of tears, lipid, water, and mucus. When the water dries a little bit around the eye, the mucus will accumulate and it will be misunderstood or may be misunderstood as eye infection. This is only nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Management of nasolacrimal duct obstruction is digital massage of the lacrimal sac. We'll practice here how to massage the nasolacrimal duct in cases of nasolacrimal duct obstruction. Advise parents to use the little finger, the tip of the little finger, and apply pressure on the lacrimal sac to create a negative pressure and slide down. Apply pressure and slide down. You will do it three times. One, two, three, for up to three times a day. Topical antibiotics are indicated if associated infection, for example, swelling of the eyelid, conjunctival injection, irritation of the eye. In this case, you need to provide topical antibiotics in addition to the nasolacrimal duct massage. Most cases will self-resolve by one year of age, more than 90%. Reassure parents that this case is self-limited and will disappear with time. When to refer to the eye doctor if persists to one year of age, or less than that because of worsening of symptoms or chronic eye infection, early probing may help at this point. If develops dacrocystitis, you need to refer, plus you will need to give IV antibiotics.